hi everyone uh, let's talk about the checkpoint firewall so this is the entire topology i have created for the checkpoint you can see here the checkpoint gateway basically this is uh, the perimeter gateway after this there is the internet connectivity this is my lan uh, you can say this is my internal wi-fi network uh, i'm using it to give internet to my checkpoint gateway so that if my test PCs want to access internet it can go from test PC to switch one the checkpoint gateway and towards the out out uh, towards the WAN zone WAN zone means it's going to the internet so uh, we have a gateway one security gateway one we have SMS also known as security management server where we manage the security gateways we define policy security policies here we push the policies from here to the security gateways right now we have only one security gateway later on we will put some other gateways so uh, a little overview we have a little bit, uh, management zone from we have from where we have a admin pc this is the pc from where we are going to manage the entire firewalls using a gui web browser and uh, this is the LAN zone where we place one PC to test uh, multiple uh, scenarios like uh, take an example of uh, applications like uh, you don't want a team viewer access to uh, the to this PC to this the LAN zone uh, user right so this is one of the example and there are multiple example that uh, we are going to uh, configure we are going to apply here in this scenario so first thing uh, we need to configure the gateway and uh, this is the IP addresses that I have already mentioned here so Ethernet 0 have the IP address of 10104.0.0.254 and uh, the LAN interface address is 10.12.12.10 this is Ethernet 2 interface DMZ interface and this is 192.168.50.10 and the outside interface is Ethernet 3 and the uh, IP that we are going to configure is 192.168.1.49 so we will going one by one to configure all the entire topology so let's let's first configure the primary gateway so I have already opened it I guess let's see yes so I have already installed the checkpoint gateway the only thing we need to do is we need to get inside the checkpoint so the username is by default admin and uh, I have used test 123 as a password okay so now I am inside the, the checkpoint firewall and you can see in order to configure your system please access the web UI and finish the first time visit let's see first what is the IP address uh, of the checkpoint gateway currently for the Ethernet 0 okay remember only Ethernet 0 have the access to the management uh, uh, interface no other interface can access so Ethernet 1, Ethernet 2, Ethernet 3 cannot access the primary gateway only the Ethernet 0 from the management zone can access the checkpoint firewall so the command to check the interface detail is show interface you can press tab for more information and the ethernet see you can see there are multiple uh, ethernet interfaces are reflecting here whatever we have configured in this firewall so let's see about the ethernet 0 and you can see currently by default it's showing the ip address 192.168.1.1 but as per our scenario if you want to configure a different IP then we need to use this command the set command let's press tab and you can see multiple options are coming press interface and uh, which interface that uh, you want to set the IP address so I'm saying Ethernet 0 and uh, I want to configure the IP v4 address so the command is IP v4 address always press tab for easily uh, complete the command and now we need to enter the IP address so IP address is 
Now you are thinking that from where I am taking this uh, IP address is so I have already decided that I am going to use this range of IP address 104.00.254 now, now you need to see, now you can see there you need to uh, enter the subnet so I am going to enter the subnet mask ok so uh, here you can see this subnet I am decided that I am going to use a 24 now class C of subnet so 255.255.255.0 and press enter that's it now let's confirm it one more time uh, using the command show interface and ethernet 0 and here you can see it successfully enter here successfully configured the IP address now let's go to our uh, admin PC from where we are going to take the web GUI using the Chrome or the Internet Explorer. So I have already opened to save time and let's use the Internet Explorer. Always use Internet, uh, Internet Explorer because there are multiple uh, functionalities are not working with other browsers. So 104 zero zero two five four okay see we are able to access so click on continue to this website okay so we are able to access let me full screen it and we can also check are we able to ping the interface or not let's ping it one zero four zero zero two five four okay working it work I will let's enter the username admin and password is test123 and press the login button ok so first time when you access the firewall uh, the Gaia configuration wizard will come wait few seconds and then it will show the wizard ok click next continue with r10 r80.10 configuration and uh, click next now here it's showing the management connection so this is our ethernet zero interface you can see here the ethernet zero interface yes i'm going to configure manually there is another option off and uh, ip address remember the command we are using the, uh, we have used earlier the set command that we used it to set the IP address so that we can take the management access and then the subnet mask okay and the default gateway okay so click next now this is another option we don't want this currently click next if you want to give the host name yes give the host name let's change the host name to checkpoint primary gateway let's say it's a primary gateway ok and uh, the secondary DNS server I'm going to give right currently right now because primary DNS server I have not implemented in this uh, topology later once I configured the windows server as a primary DNS server I will mention the IP address for that DNS server. So I'm going to click next. Now the date. Now the date currently is 08 and uh, 38 second. I am in India currently, so I'll select Kolkata. Next. Yes, in installation, select the security gateway and security management click next so this firewall I only want as a security gateway so I'm uncheck the security management and click next next activation sick okay I'm giving the IP admin 123 remember always this password because we are going to use it later on to make the trust between the two devices ok your device will configure with the following product ok finish now 
click yes and if you wait few minutes it will take a little bit of time to finalize it till then i'll just pause the video once it is finished i'll be resume back okay now it's showing that you need to restart the systems click ok now system is rebooting you can see here also this is the primary and it's restarting currently take around one minute to get back so currently it's back now so let's log in one more time admin with the password test one two three and here you can see and also just check this out that uh, our uh, host name is also changed with cp checkpoint primary gateway so let's access one more time and another thing that we need to check it out that if we pin current uh, one more time here you can see it's blocked because the local policy is applied which always drop the pin packets the only thing we can access is through the GUI okay so let's maximize it and enter the password admin and the password is test123 and log in Here you can see we have the entire the dashboard so once you log in you will see the configuration is locked it means that if you want to change anything it will not allow you directly either you need to click here to unlock or you can click directly here are you sure you want to override the lock yes okay i can do that now this is the inside uh, the gateway from here you can manage the interfaces currently we have not configured the other interfaces here you can define the static route which we will cover later under the system management tab you can set the time date and time time zone SNMP you can set mail notifications you can set messages banner messages message of the day show the host name on login page the time display time date display format session timeout uh, if you want to configure like uh, the command lines shell session inactivity timeout or the web UI timeout system logging network access if you want to enable telnet it's better to not enable telnet as you all know that telnet is a clear text protocol and anyone can use to like why shark to intercept the packets if he's in your internal network and capture the packets and see the clear text passwords host access means which host you want to allow to access the firewall from the zone or a subnet this is related to advanced routing like if you want to configure BGP external protocols or interior gateway protocols RIP OSPF another thing is the user management part if you want to change the password currently I have set test123 you can change it from here or if you want to create another users you can click add and create multiple users that we are going to cover later you can define the roles by default there are three roles admin role cloning admin role and monitor role password policies here are the you can set the password policies password history mandatory password change how many days you want to change users password deny access to unused accounts there are multiple things authentication servers like uh, 
you want to authenticate users from the radius uh, from the server like from the windows server using the protocol such as radius and tecax so here are the options from here you can set the entire config radius servers Okay, here is the high availability that you can set. Now, this will show you the license status. If whatever the license you have, like wildfire uh, informations, whatever the blades you have, it will show here all the informations. Here is the snapshot management backup. Here, from here also you can download the smart consoles there is another way that you can download I'll show it later if you want to halt the or shut down the firewall you can click here also and you can try it with the command line also and reboot and if you want to up update you can click here once the firewall is connected with the internet then it can down uh, directly download the packages and this is update related policy okay so we have a fair amount of uh, information now and one more thing if you want a uh, shell access you can click here also like i want to access the cli i can enter the username and password and here it is show the interface and open zero here you can see the informations okay close this and in the next video we are going to configure the second security management server this one 10104001100 thanks for watching